What if I told you I had irrefutable proof of aliens not only existing, but being extremely hot and horny? I think we could all agree that would be good news. But you know what's even better than good news? Great news. Which is why I want each and every one of you to check your pockets right now. If even a single one of you did that, I am beyond disappointed. This is a YouTube video, not fucking sorcery, you gullible fool. The great news I want to share with you is that Tampa's newest and already most hated villain has actually been identified and caught. Right before Hurricane Milton was scheduled to slam into Tampa, a patrol officer noticed a dog chained to a fence in very high water. Everyone wanted to know who was the owner. What irredeemable piece of shit could do this to their pet? The idea was for the dog to die in the hurricane because the owner didn't want the dog anymore, clearly. This became such a huge story, not only online, but locally, that my mom actually called me just to vent her frustration after seeing that video. The video was massive, and it became like a real-life Yu Yu Hakusho chapter black tape, where seeing it immediately sent you into a frenzy and made you hate the owner of this dog. He immediately just became public enemy number one. Like fucking Cobra Commander and everyone was trying to hunt them down for how cruel this was. On Trooper, who was found abandoned along I-75 in Hillsborough County. That was the day Hurricane Milton made landfall. As Hurricane Milton was barreling toward okay. our state, this dog was left to fend it's for okay. itself in Hillsborough County. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Florida Highway Patrol troopers found the dog standing in water up to its chest. After a good Samaritan spotted the furry friend tied to a pole on I-75 near Bruce B. Downs Boulevard. This is a video that infuriates pretty much anyone that sees it for good reason. I thought there was no chance that the owner would ever be identified or anything like that because this is not uncommon. There are tons of subhuman worms that do this all the time to pets they no longer want. But... In this case, it became so big that it seems they put a lot of resources behind finding the owner here and bringing them to justice. And so Trooper Morales rescued this dog. Lopez tells us 23-year-old Giovanni Aldama Garcia has now been charged with aggravated animal cruelty. She says Garcia told investigators he was driving to Georgia to escape the hurricane, but left his dog on the side of the road because he couldn't find anyone to pick the dog up. Goofball rolled a nat one on the persuasion check. That's a stupid reason. There were a million other things you could have done besides just leave the dog to die. And in fact, he did more than that. It's not like he just pulled over and let the dog out, which would have been horrible. He went the extra mile into being exceptionally evil by making the decision to tie the dog to that fence, ensuring it would die in the hurricane because it would have no way of escaping. This asshole had to waddle through like shin high water himself in order to tie the dog to that pole. He really wanted it to die. This isn't like the matter of, oh, I was out of options, so I had to tie my dog to a fucking fence in the middle of a hurricane in order to keep myself safe on this journey to Georgia. Like, it's not like you couldn't take the dog with you. You were actively traveling with it in your car until you just threw your hands up, I guess, saying fiddlesticks, and then pulled over to tie the dog to the fence. I guess you needed to make room in your car for more galaxy gas and fint, you brain rot loser. Like, this is so unbelievably cruel, and there's no justifying it at all. There is no reason he could possibly give to try and make this not an awful, awful, terrible thing that he has done. He did uh, admit to being the dog's owner and admitted to wanting to get rid of this dog and had been making efforts to get rid of this dog for several weeks or months even before the storm. And this was, was his way to do it. In the days following the dog's rescue, rumors circulated on social media that Trooper had been returned to its owner. However, the Leon County Humane Society wrote on Facebook that that never happened. That's so crazy to me that apparently he was trying to get rid of this dog for quite a long period of time and then decided, Eureka, this is the moment. Hurricane Milton can kill it. Finally, the Lord has answered my prayers. A natural disaster to kill my dog. What kind of psychopath? It blows my mind that someone like this exists. Like that, like, like that is a testament 
to how far technology and science has come because this guy 100% would have died fucking 10 years ago trying to investigate bear shit to see if it tasted good. And he would have just been mauled to death in a jungle and we would have never been cursed to be burdened with his stupidity. Like, it is so fucking shocking that someone this dumb and this dangerously stupid and evil has made it this far. Since then, the Leon County Humane Society has received hundreds of inquiries about the dog. Meanwhile, Lopez says some crimes can be enhanced to more serious ones if they're committed during a state of emergency. Animal cruelty is not one of them. It has not been enhanced because we don't have the ability to do that, but the folks in Tallahassee do. In Tampa, Ariel Placencia, Fox 13 News. I've said this for years and I will keep saying it for years to come. Animal cruelty charges need to carry harsher penalties. They need to have more severe consequences. There are an infinite number of studies that have been conducted that prove beyond a shadow of a doubt a very strong correlation between people that hurt animals and people that hurt human beings. I'm sure all of you already know this, but it's important to remember that one of the earliest signs of psychopathy in human beings is animal cruelty. Like a kid hurting the family pet or skinning a stray cat or gutting a squirrel, that kind of shit. Like it is indicative of someone that could be a danger to society. Someone that would do something like this, tying a dog to a fence during a hurricane to ensure it dies a painful, agonizing death. Like I understand he is facing repercussions, which is great. I think it's a maximum of five years. I don't know if he'll actually get five years. I imagine he probably will not, but I think he should get the maximum possible sentence and it should be a very harsh and severe sentence. I have said that for so long and I will continue to say that for so long. Animal cruelty charges need to be taken much more seriously than they are. But I know I'm getting heated. The reason I'm calling this great news is because not only is the dog okay and most likely going to find its forever home after all of this, but they caught the guy which I, I don't know how they did that. I appreciate that they took the time and effort to do that. I have no clue how they pulled that shit off though. Th that blows my mind. This ha Like I said, this kind of thing does happen a lot, unfortunately, for pieces of shit that just don't want their dog anymore. I don't know how they tracked him down. I guess they must have had like some, uh, maybe like traffic cams that they started to like piece together a timeline and they figured out who it was based on that Maybe the sheriff's department's got Cerebro in their headquarters and they were able to Fucking jack into the mainframe here and piece the whole puzzle together. I have no clue, but they they did it They did catch the guy which is great So I just wanted to share this good news this is a story that I know a lot of you have probably seen because it was so big and so sad and frustrating and it has a happy ending. So that's good. Yeah, that's really about it. See ya.